Hi guys, how's it going? This is Matt DeTomato right here. Welcome back to some more Prison Architect. Thank you for tuning in. I just had a little break. There's a little 20 minute break. Got a little drink, chill, relax. And we are back with our female prison over here. So, uh, the last part we were building up some bits and bobs over this way. I think we were getting the infirmary set up. We built the common room. That was the last thing we did. And uh, we set up some reform programs. Um, let's have a look at programs. There we are. We set up the alcoholics group. We set up the um, treatment of drug addiction. And we're probably going to build our new cell block now. And then we'll probably get our laundry and stuff up uh, after that. I'm going to build the cell block first. Now, I did say I was going to build the uh, the laundry stuff first. I actually decided I'm going to build the cell block first. So, before I do that, though, I'm going to sort out a plan here. So, how... How is this going to be organized? Um, oops. Uh, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, it was like this. Okay, so that's it. That's straightforward enough. Like that. We'll have the passageway that runs through here so we can go in and out both sides, which will be helpful. And then. Possibly a solitary in there. And then the showers here. Oh, are you kidding me? Maybe I don't need the solitary then. Um, bum, 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 bum. Should we just put the showers here straight off the bat? Unusual place to put them, but... Uh, See, that is absolutely perfect. The only problem is, though, there is a lack of solitary here. And we do need solitary. Um, obviously, we have solitary over here in this block, so maybe that might be enough. Hell knows. Actually, we could turn um, this into some solitary here. We could put a couple of little solitary cells in here. But then I like the idea of having the space there, so... Not really sure what I want to do with that at the moment. I'm not really sure where we're going to put the solitary. We could just put it on the other side of the road. Ah! That'd be funny. No. Uh, we might expand, and then we'll we'll expand this particular cell block, is think, what we'll do. At the moment, though, I don't think we're going to... Yeah, we'll just do this. Let's do it. And either that, or we could temporarily turn one of the cells here into some solitary. And we could do it that way. That might be better, actually. Uh, for now, though, I'm just going to put in a jail door here, but not on the other side, because there's actually no secure thing there yet. So, just put it in on one side for the moment. Yeah, we are going to need our security as well, because obviously we're going to want to tap into some of these phones and try and work out where the contraband's going. Uh, we could potentially unlock some stuff here. Prison labor's about to be unlocked, that's good. I'll pick up education. And... I'll build this cell block first, and then we'll see what we've got left over. Obviously, when we build this cell block, we'll complete cell block A, and that'll give me 20,000 20, to play with, in which I'll probably unlock some of the other bits, like dogs, surveillance. Uh, oh, we need to hire a gardener. Um, there you go. Done. Right. So, grants. Uh, laundry. Actually, yeah, we'll pick that one up. Is anybody interested in the kitchen safety and hygiene? at all. Yes, they are. I'd like to run that one. That's actually quite okay. I'm giving people the choice here of what they want to do. Obviously, if they want to do all of them, then they can't, uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, but then I want to save room in the afternoon for the spiritual guidance and the education program. Because they're the big ones. They're the ones that educate people, and so once they're educated, they're more likely to be released early. So, Spiritual guidance is helpful as well, because it fits a lot of people into the same space. So you can get more prisoners happier by running those courses. We'll see though. Right, we're still stuck at uh, this capacity here, so these poor ladies over here are still stuck in uh, holding. Uh, oh! What? 
Is that because I've... Yeah, okay. So that's not actually secure. Yeah, once that's built... Okay, that was a little bit confusing there. So th there was actually a small potential to escape there. Which is concerning. Yeah, people could actually get out there. If they wanted to. Uh, they can actually get out of here because look, the garbage the garbage bag is actually blocking. So if theoretically, if all of these girls wanted to get out, they could. Also, I didn't do the toilet search. I'm going to do it at a really bad time. It's a terrible time to do a toilet search. Because it wakes them up and makes them a little bit cranky. Same time though. If you're doing anything wrong, then... Yeah, I've annoyed them a little bit there. At least I didn't do a full-ass shakedown. That would have been hilarious. Uh, let's also search these two toilets here, because you never know. Right, lock that open. Ooh, have we unlocked patrols now? We have. Right, let's get a patrol... Uh, not like that. There. Also gives me a little bit of a look at what's going on in uh, that family cell as well. Uh, we'll get a patrol... Basically just out here. Small patrol there. And we might want to have a patrol just walking out here. Just in case. We'll need some more guards for that though. Okay, excellente. Uh, completed a the security thing there. That's great. So, patrol guards. Yeah, we've got too many on deployment at the moment though. So let's go ahead and go up to 15 guards. Right, so utilities... Uh, bring that pipeline all the way through here. Uh, we'll go up to there. We don't want to go too far. Obviously, it makes it easy to dig out if we go too far. And um, let's bring in the uh, electrical cable into there. So we can use this pot of money now to build this cell block. But I'm also going to pick up all our bits here. So dogs, surveillance, intelligence, and land expansion. Eventually we'll pick up Armoury as well, but uh, we picked up a huge pile of money there, so uh, that was a good one to take. Uh, so we'll take that opportunity to pick up a lot of the, uh, the things that we can unlock. And I'm also actually going to go for the short-term investment here as well. We have, the, we have the funds to be able to do that. This cell block will not cost 29 grand, uh, but what will happen is once we complete it, we'll get the 20 grand from the cell block A to be able to build this block over here and get our uh, laundry, uh, classroom, spiritual guidance, all that stuff. Which will make people very happy. And after that's done, we can sort out this front of house here, because that's looking very bad at the moment. And we should be probably able to then venture into some normal security stuff. Build a couple of capacitors over there as well, just to top up on our power. Uh, I'll make one of them a top priority. The other one doesn't need to be of too much concern. And I'm also going to hire a couple of extra workmen. Should have probably done that earlier, but it's okay. Now, our cash flow is not brilliant now. That's because we're laying a lot of uh, pipe work, utilities. We just hired a bunch of staff as well, so... Excellent. Those capacitors are in. Super. So that should last us a little, little, bit, little bit longer. Right, none of, these guys, none of these girls are actually too interested in sleeping at the moment. They're obviously... they, Despite the fact we disturbed them... They're still okay. Uh, prison labour. See, no one's qualified for that yet, but uh, maybe if we actually make some jobs available, it might encourage more people to go for the kitchen safety thing. Which could be good. I've got no doors on these offices. Maybe we'll put them in when we've got loads of money. I feel that this, this prison is going to last longer. Like the, the previous prison we only did six six or seven episodes, but I think that this is definitely going to be a much better job because I'm liking the layout of it a lot better. I was really annoyed with how I'd built up that previous prison. I wasn't happy with it. So uh... Right, so these, this stuff is now done. So let's go materials. I almost always use the brick wall. I don't, don't know why I never use the concrete one. Um... I don't know, I guess it's just a force of habit. It's exactly the same. There's no real difference to either of them. They both cost the same. They both do the same job. I don't know. 
Right, let's get these uh, these walls in place. Let's get these cells up and running here. So what I might do is for the moment, uh, these last two on the end here, I might make them solitary. But eventually, if we get a proper solitary zone set up, then we'll just turn them into cells. You can actually have a solitary with a bed and things like that, and they will actually sleep in it. They'll just be shackled, but they'll be able to sleep in the bed. So what I'll do is I'll set it up just like a cell, and um, it'll be a, almost a luxury solitary sort of thing. Um, get a couple of lights in over there. Probably in here as well. Um, so, objects. Let's go bed. Just standard cells for the moment. Um, we can build some luxury cells later on, or some uh, dormitories. Uh, there's lots of things we could do. If we are going to build dormitories, though, I think I have already said it, but uh, if we're going to build dormitories, it's got to be um, got to be minimum sec. Because normal sec is quite dangerous. Maximum sec is asking for trouble if you're building dormitories. Okay, those two have attended the alcoholics thing again. So that's good. That shows that they they're keen. They've got good uh, good attendance. Some bookshelves in as well, just to increase the cell quality. Now, what you can do is uh, obviously, if a cell quality is too high for someone who deserves it or too low, uh, there is a way around that. You can hit into the uh, policy here, and you can deactivate the cell quality rating. So it means anyone will just be assigned to any cell. But obviously, best behaved prisoners will get better cells priority, but they will not be refused access to a cell. At the moment, that's not too much of a problem. It would become a problem if I decided to put a radio or a television in one of these cells. The cell quality would be too high for the prisoners in question, so they wouldn't be moved into those cells. So, so what we got here? We got eight, sixteen cells. Two of them are obviously going to be solitary, so that's fourteen. We're going to be filling in four of them with prisoners that we already have, so that's ten. So we could take ten new prisoners on the next day. So let's actually prep for those already. Let's hit ten. Of course, we could fill up the holding cell again with a couple of extras uh, prisoners. We could do that as well. That's not a problem. Uh, so if we decide we want a little bit of extra money or maybe just some extra prisoners or whatnot, we could, uh, we could definitely do that. Uh, preemptively fill this in because it's going to be the showers. There we go. Put that on the end there. That'll be good. So these, two, as I said, these two on the end are going to be solitary. But, uh, they'll eventually turn into regular cells. Oh, we need to put in the uh, the actual shower heads as well. I uh, didn't do that. Right. One, two, three, four. Again, eight showers for 16 prisoners is not the best. This is min sec though, so we could probably get away with actually cramming them in a little bit more here. Whoa, really? Yeah, let's cram them in. Let's see how we do, actually. I'm unsure as to how this will go. We're going to cram in those showers. 4, 8, 12, 16, 18 for 16 people. Well, what will eventually be 16 people. But they are a little bit cramped, and they don't tend to like that, because it's lack of privacy. Or privacy, depending on how you say it. Privacy, privacy. I, I just say whatever comes to my head. Sometimes I say privacy, sometimes I say privacy. I think one's English and one's American English. I uh, wouldn't know what is what, though. Put that in the comments below. I'm, I'm curious. American English uh, or standing? I don't, I don't know. Don't care, to be honest. I say things the way I say things. End off. Uh, so intelligence is being unlocked. Uh, I'm going to pick up armory as well. Got a little bit of extra money kicking around, so I will pick that up. Although we do still need to put in our jail doors, but that will not cost 14 grand. <laughs> Uh, can we afford some extra workmen? No, not at the moment. We can't afford them. Oh, dog handlers. Yes, we do need to build a kennel. I don't know where to build that. Again, that might be for the extension. 
Look at this delivery. <laughs> we need some more workforce. We definitely need a couple more workmen. Oh well. Can't afford them at the moment, but we will do eventually. We could assign this area to be a kennel for the moment. Because the moment our parole is not really... Uh, yeah. Everybody's still filling up some of these programs are still going though. Uh, education program, yeah. Spiritual guidance. No one's interested in behavioral therapy anyway, so... Even if I wanted to set that up, no one's interested, so... That's okay, I'm not, I'm not bothered by that, because behavioral therapy is not really one that I tend to... Uh, tend to tend to go for. Okay, everybody's being fed. Um, getting food, yeah. You better be getting food as well. Oh, there's um, Lily Platter over there. She's still roaming around. wonder if she's stolen anything else recently. You know what? Whilst they're all eating, let's do another toilet search. Just have a quick peek, see if there's anything going on here. Yeah, it looks all good. Saying that, the guards did a search in the previous prison, and then about five minutes later there was an escape. Somebody got out. Um, also do the uh, do those two as well. Do those toilets, just to make sure. Okay, good. Cool. Nothing, nothing crazy going on there. These cells are actually finished now, so let's assign... A solitary there and a solitary there. There. And then we'll have these as regular cells. Uh, this one here is also finished. Let's put a jail door there. Now it's just this end that's not quite done yet. And once they're all complete, we'll, uh, we'll assign those as cells. And then our current holding cell lot will be able to move in and then we should be able to take on, well we're, we're taking on 10 more prisoners anyway so we're, we're getting ready for this, that cell is done so sort that one out, that is now finished so someone can move in there oh we also need the, the drains, I forgot about those there we go imagine walking through the shower there to get to your cell and everybody's having a shower and you're just walking through there. <laughs> Imagine if you're the guard and you walk through there. <laughs> Bloody hell. The thing is, they're all criminals. That's the problem. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. You've committed a crime. Okay, wow. That's a sudden intake, uh, sudden huge... Okay, let's... Um, there's still a pile of stuff going on at deliveries over here. So let's get... Parmel workmen, because uh, we're going to be building more and more stuff further out here, so we're going to need the workforce anyway. Beds and all sorts going in there. That cell is done. So let's build a jail door there. This cell is nearly done as well. These jail doors are not there yet. But, uh, yeah, so you're... Really? Oh, that's not complete. There's actually a... Oh, really? There's a box of flaming pipes in there. That's a bad place to put that. It's annoying. Again, we can uh, complete that one. How many? How many's left in there? Three. There's also somebody in there. Kennedy. Kennedy Hale is in there. Okay, those are all done. Fantastic. We'll assign those to be cells in just a minute. Right, that's finished now, so I can now close that. Okay. Just installing these as we go along here. Right, these six are all finished. Um, so we can do this here. We'll deploy a guard in here pretty soon as well. We'll probably have two guards in here. We'll have one patrolling and then one just stationed. Excellent, we completed that grant, uh, which is obviously the cell block A. We could take cell block B. Um, let's take the staff well-being. There we go, that's done. Fantastic. 
Uh, hmm. I'll take the Reform Through Education initiative. Uh, it's quite a hard one to complete, but uh, I think we'll take that because it's got a big reward when you do do it. So, and of course, when the short term in investment comes back, I'll probably then take the cell block B. These are all done. Brilliant. Okay, so rooms, uh, cell. We can assign these to be done there. And then, okay, so now let's put a guard patrol there. So just a general guard patrol, and then what we'll do is once this block sorts itself out, like that, there we go, it's all joining itself together, we'll actually just deploy a general guard in there. So we'll have two guards in there. So we've got a patrol there, patrol there, yeah that's fine. Um, we'll need to sort out this entrance pretty soon. Uh, there's usually a guard kicking around in the reception anyway. You don't really need to deploy a guard there as such. But, um, that should be okay. Also, I need to assign this as the shower. There we go. Yeah, so we can take on ten more. Um, really? Take on ten more without actually filling up the holding. Because no one will be in holding. That's actually pretty good. Um, so what I can actually do then is take you out of the holding cell. Didn't realise I, I had a miscalculation there. Screwed that up. Oh well. So theoretically I could take on 16 prisoners. Hey-ho. People are getting cranky. Why? 10 prisoners have serious complaints. Well, that's hygiene. Well, that's okay, because it's shower time. So, they're all going to sort that out pretty quickly. Okay, uh, so prisoner intake. You know what? We will take on... Um, let's take four. And we'll have some kicking around and holding. That should be alright. Okay, yeah. So, they, they wanted to shower. Yeah, it's pretty up uh, close and cosy in here. Uh, we'll have to see what some people... Piper Barry, what is your problem? Pickpocketing. <laughs> Uh, Aliana Shopland, what did you do? Gross indecency, again. Okay, uh, Hannah Holdaway, handling stolen goods. Boyfriend 30, okay. Three sons and a daughter. Quite a big family you got there. Cool. Uh, also, we might want to hire a couple more guards. Uh, let's go up to 18. It'll be okay. And now that we've got that built and all sorted, I think it's ready to build this big block over here. So, objects, um, door, 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 door. Because uh, laundry, cleaning cupboard, classroom, chapel is the idea behind that. Did we pick up any parent, uh, any family cell extras? We still have uh, Lily Platter over here. I don't think we have any other babies here. You're only 18, what did you do? Vandalism, oh dear, Ruby. What a way to waste your life, girl. Um, you're 46, okay, yeah, only 18, bloody hell. Vivian Creaser. Possession intent to supply. Oh, you're a bit of a druggie. Okay. Keep an eye on you. Search toilets. Uh, we'll run a check of the holding cell as well. Just make sure nobody was doing any digging in there. Oh, Avery. Also, we're having more and more people around here in the canteen. So we might actually... Oh, uh, you caught with a fork. Kennedy Hale. She's only just arrived. Oh, my God. Uh, let's increase the capacity of the canteen a little bit here because we have a few more prisoners now. There we go. What? No route. Oh, yes, we've uh, blockaded ourselves in over here. So let's go ahead and demolish that. We've blocked ourselves in there. So if you demolish the wall, then obviously we can get out of there now. It's a bit daft. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. 
Okay, right. So, utilities, electricity. Uh, let's run the electrics all the way through like this. And because this is going to be the laundry, we are going to need some water pipes over here. Um, that'll do. Now, it would be cheaper to go from here, but... Uh, Possibly digging through there. I'm not really sure that's uh, a good thing to do. Also, let's put in another uh, large jail door at the top there. So that you can actually walk out both sides now. Saves a long walk to get to the canteen. Okay, also, let's define our rooms here. Like that. So I can then get rid of all of the planning rubbish there. Cool. Okay. So far, so good then. Uh, this yard is just about okay for the number of prisoners that we have. Ooh, I'm actually um, just thinking maybe just putting in a phone booth or something at the end here. Because obviously we're not going to be building out that way. So maybe it might just be a good idea to have an extra phone booth in there. You never know. Uh, nobody's eligible for parole still. That's a bit annoying. I'd like to get some parole going, because then we get the early releases, and if you can get the early releases, then uh, you can uh, really make some serious cash with those uh, extra 3,000s there. So here's Kennedy Hale over here. Video game piracy. Also car theft. Already served those, though. Honestly. Ooh, a little bit of export. That's good. Uh, probably it was the trees from over here. I'm imagining was uh, what was going on there. Might need a couple of extra cooks as well. No, we don't. We have some prisoners working in the kitchen. They have passed the kitchen safety. That is absolutely brilliant. I'll keep that kitchen safety kicking around, though. Uh, two passed. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. One person also passed the drugs thing as well. That's brilliant. Might want to reorganize this, though, a little bit. And the parole hearing is... Let's move the parole hearing to the afternoon. Um, when's eat time in the evening? Seven o'clock. Okay. So we might want to bring the parole forward to something like here. There we go. So someone is eligible for parole. Uh, oops. Let's rerun that. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, time to mess around with it. But you can rerun courses. Right, there's actually nobody in the queue for the drug addiction right now, but I'll keep that open just in case anybody suddenly decides they want to do it. I'm glad I increased the capacity of this canteen. My word. Where's, uh, what's her face? Lily Platter. Uh, there you are. Ah, there you are. You're over there. Okay. Have you done anything bad recently? Um, experience, six days in prison. No, she's not actually done anything for a while. Free time. Okay, your health is okay. Okay, she's mostly been on free time recently, so that's good. That's just she's not done anything bad. Okay. She's the badass of the prison at the moment, stealing all these bits and bobs. Right, so, rooms. Uh, let's do the laundry first. Because people get pretty cranky about that pretty quickly. Uh, also, we have a, um, a grand thing to do that. Also, cleaning cupboard. There we are. Right. So, let's do that. So, obviously, we need laundry machines. Four should, four should do for the moment. Uh, laundry baskets. We need loads of these. Five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. You know what? Fill up the entire side. Screw it. And then we'll go with some ironing boards. Two, three, four, five, six. That'll do. That should be plenty to serve what we need. And obviously these things require power and water. There we go. Uh, we might need to do that. 
Then we do logistics. Um, so it's assigned four people for the cleaning cupboard, or three actually. Let's give eight in here. Now that might be quite overkill considering we have 26 prisoners. But um, actually, yeah, that is overkill. Let's go four there and three there. So the cleaning cupboard people will work just like the janitors. They'll go around cleaning the grounds, cleaning the floors, things like that. Whilst the laundries will sort out all the prisoner uniforms, things like that. Because clothing is an actual prisoner need. So, of course, if you wear the same same damn clothes all the time, then, uh, yeah. You're going to get pretty cranky about that. So, um, for the moment, uh, I'm going to deploy a guard in there. Eventually, though, I will probably want to... Um, have some CCTV instead. So it might be worth going up with the security over here now. So let's go uh, solitary door there, solitary door there. Build a foundation there. And get the brick wall up there. So we'll brick in the uh, power unit, and we'll get a small security unit here, and we'll have a couple of CCTV uh, bits going on around. Uh, nuts. Do that. There we go, that's better. Let me get the power going. Uh, water pipes. Looks like the water pipes are arriving. Yeah, small pipes. There we go. Fantastic. Might need to do a toilet search over here in the morning. Right, but I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, so that's for now. If you like uh, Prison Architect, please forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For now, that's it. And join me next time for more for myself, Matt Tomato, and I'll play through with the minimum security slash normal security female prison. See you later, guys.